Hi folks, uh, another watercolour for you. <coughs> um, how to create the illusion of depth in a watercolour or in an oil or acrylic. It's all about uh, colour and tone. <coughs> cool colours recede, warm colours come forward. And we work through the painting, and as Frank Clark says, have some more fun. Horizon, sky, middle, foreground. Have some more fun. It's a very good mnemonic, that, that one, or oh, acronym. So thanks, uh, Frank, for coming up with that. But it's more or less true. I don't, you don't always have to start on the, on the horizon. He draws a horizon line in. I don't. I don't bother. I don't like that pencil showing through. Uh, but that's a personal thing. But... Um, Using uh, sky colours in the distance and, and gradually just warming it up as, it, as you come forward. We'll, we'll have a go at this. I've got my usual palette of cadmium yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey, burnt sienna. I didn't use Payne's grey yesterday. I didn't use burnt umber. I did use a bit of alizarin. I wish I hadn't. But my, my stock in trade is light red, ultramarine, burnt sienna, raw sienna and the cadmium yellow which as you can see is getting pretty murky in there but it's, um, I'm using a, the remain, remaining sheets, few sheets of my Windsor & Newton 90 pound I'm not sure if it's a rough paper I, I think it's the cold pressed I, I, I bought some of each but you can't get it now for, um, Uh, let's have a look. Let's see if I can find a packet. Oh, I've got left there. Uh, Ken Bromley, I'll go from Ken Bromley. Uh, Saunders Waterford, that oh, is rough. Yeah, it is rough. It's, it's the last one I've got. I've got a few sheets of 140 pound Buckingham. I think that's a Ken, uh, that's Buckingham, I don't know where that came from. That's uh, 140 pounds, and 20 sheets in that. Haven't finished, finished that. There we go. Uh, well, I've still got some Ken Bromley Sa uh, Saunders Waterford. Got a bit of that left. Uh, well, this is a Saunders uh, 90 pound rough. Uh, oh no, that's a bit of still the Windsor. Uh, three sheets, two sheets of that left. Uh, so it's Windsor and Newton. I've got two more sheets of the Windsor and Newton to go. Then Buckingford, then the Saunders. Whatever Saunders is. Rough. Saunders, Saunders, rough. Nice. Now I've got, I've got 20 sheets of that left, then I'll have to start buying some more. Uh, I'm using the uh, £130 Fabriano for acrylic or oil. Right now, I've wet that with the paper, put in a bit of, bit of raw sienna. This will just sort of unify. Give a nice warm tint to the whole sheet. You can miss bits out, a bit of sparkle. Make sure your paint's more or less dissolved. Uh, right, now we'll see work its magic now. I've got the board at probably, probably about 25 degrees. I quite like, I, I can go a bit, I can go a bit shallower. So it's about 20 degrees. Right, okay, so we'll put in a bit of, let's have a bit of red. Right, now we're going with a nice a bit, of, bit, of, bit of blue, bit of blue. I'm going to put some water in, I'm going to uh, put it in now. Now we're going for the cloud, light red and you can make your grey hair you like, this is my favourite. 
but it would be quite quite thick, otherwise it'll just disappear to nothing. Right, well there we are. That's just going that will dry much lighter. I'll, uh, I'll, go, I'll, I'll dry that. I just want to stretch it out. You don't need to shrink your 90 pound papers or your 140 pounds. Just reclip, stretch them and reclip. Pull out the, uh, the lumps. There we go. Nice and flat. All right, headphones off or mute your sound or fast forward. Go. Right, now that's almost dry, but if it was bone dry, you're doing it for yourself, you could at this stage re-wet it gently, very carefully, and go over it again. But uh, I, I don't really want to do that, it won't suit the demonstration. But we've got quite a nice, nice sky with some clouds floating across. Plenty of cool colours in there, but a bit of warm as well. So now we will uh, use those colours. Well, just a bit more blue, but it's quite light, light in tone. It's the same sky colour, and we'll just let's put this background in. We can just harden it up a little bit. It's a very light touch. Just, oh, you don't want to repeat the shape. Now we're warmer, a bit of burnt sienna in with that, maybe a bit of yellow. Bit of raw sienna. Yeah, I'm just bringing the colours into a, a more warm. Effect by using a bit of burnt sienna, which I love, and then we can put in some more, some greens. Let's add a bit of, bit of, bit of harder colour, mixed with. Burnt Sienna and Ultramarine because it won't stick otherwise it'll just disappear into the uh, background well this will to a certain extent now if you're painting water you don't have to put in a reflection it can be wind ruffled which will just show sky colour and we can we can add to that when that dries off a bit but so I'll put a bit of an island in oh, let's put in a bit of a now because it's rough you need a bit of water on your brush now Get a bit of green in there, a bit of blue, a bit of green, a bit of the yellow, shall I say. Now 
So just a bit of a peninsula here. Just bring a little bit of reflection here because you're coming into the foreground. Right, we'll just let that just dry off a bit. Just change the dry brush across there. Right, okay, now that's we we'll could put another bit here, I think. I'm just I'm just making this up as I'm going along, but I've I've done so many of them that it's, it's a little bit mechanical but I just want that warm colour in here. I'm going to fill these corners in because I like displaying it at the end in that uh, 16 by 12 uh, mount, but uh, this is only a, a uh, 15 inches by 11 so I'll just go because a bit of dark in there now in here. not going to do any scraping on this I don't think could do if you want but uh, not necessary and I can uh, Put in some reflections of some of these grasses here. All right, let's go in with some nice dark green, blue, sienna, yellow. I will. I put a real thick paint on there, so I just want some trees, just to, or bushy stuff to. To grow out of that. that. See how dark that is. No paint's grey, just that's a red, blue. Sure about my shape here. I can put some uh, fence posts on there. I think I think I do the same the other side. Before I go back into there, I'm going to put in, use this little, uh, this three quarter inch brush and put a few uh, bits of
I might put a bit of grass on it in that. So let's just carry that on over here. Two last little bits of detail. I'll go on to the uh, background now, that's a little bit dry now. I use my medium hake for that because I'm just going to put a bit of detail on it on the uh, background. So it's a bit of, pay, a bit of palette grey. Let's just put some of this on here. Just some bits of blue on here, sort of fields, whatever. This hake splits now. I've got another one ready to go. Because they do, they don't last forever, but they're, they're pretty cheap to buy. See now, I'm keeping the detail out of that distance. Because we won't see the detail that far away. Well, we will, but... So that's just a little bit of detail in there. I'm going to harden up the, uh, those middle distance trees on the bank there. So just a bit of... Uh, Raw sienna, no, burnt sienna and blue because it's distant. A little bit of yellow in that, make it a bit green. And then quite opaque this. I know avoiding mud is quite tricky. Oh, there we are, we've got uh, something going on there. And we've got the yappy dogs. It's a lovely day in London at the moment. Right. Uh, I want to get a bit of dry brush in there now. So, a bit of red, a bit of blue. A little bit more blue, just... Right, just across here. Right, that'll do for that. I'm going to give it a dry now and then we'll add a bit of detail in the foreground. I haven't put a figure in. You never know. See the paper's completely flat. Oh, lovely.
brush up. I've got a bit of gouache on my palette from yesterday. There we are. I've got my found my little little uh, number three rigger, and I'm just wondering whether I could uh, put a figure in that. Could put a few boats in. A few yachts. Yeah, yeah. Let's do. Let's do that. Soften some of this white. Just some little fix and flourishes here, just to show some uh, some white sails. White obviously shows up much better than than um, colours against that dark background. Just a little bit. Right, I don't know if I want to do much more than that. I, could, I was thinking of a figure. I think I will put a figure in. I'll use my number three. It's, it's supposed to be a very good graduate, but it comes to a, a chisel edge. The other one comes to a beautiful point but if I get a bit of light red put that on the palette here there so I don't mix it in with the main body of my watercolors and just use some gouache with that so that would be a good place to put it I think where it will show hopefully A little figure just stands up, put some white on the edge of him. Just give it a little bit of scale, I don't think that's worked really, just going with the pure red. He's just there. Minding his own business, just enjoying looking out over the over the estuary. Oh, that's gone to nothing, isn't it? I don't think I like that now. I think I'll take it out. I won't bother. Just an idea. You don't need to. I know Jeff Day, my mate Jeff. He he doesn't like um, figures in the landscape. I can't say as I blame it. So this is right. But I can use a little bit of yellow you know, ochre and put a bit of uh, no, no, just just mucking that. No, I don't don't need to do that. I'll let that go before I ruin it. I quite like that. Uh, put the odd uh, bird in there. Then I'll uh, clean the palette. And then go have a cup of tea. Upload this one. And go back to acrylic.
Right, this is the big well, 16 by 12 frame mount, just about covers. It's such a nice mount. I, I cut this some time ago, it's getting a little bit marked now, but uh, Another one for you. Let's uh, wind up. Right, that's as high as that will go. Well, it will go higher if I night when I see that's fully extended. Right, so there we are. Uh, another picture, and I'm not sure whether I've gone uphill there. Let's just. Right, well, there we are. Hope you like that. Thanks for looking in. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.